All right, what's up everyone? So Tesla has released this new software update, 2021.36, and it's got some new big features. So in this episode, we'll be going over all these new features. So without further ado, dive right in. So first, I'm gonna start off with this very basic new feature, and at the end, I'm gonna share the big new feature part of this software update. So the first new feature is new language support. Your touchscreen is now available in over 20 languages. To switch your language setting, tap controls, display, language, and touchscreen. But this is for the 2021 Model S. And another update for the Model S is Auto Park. So Auto Park now identifies perpendicular parking spots using painted markings and road edges. Now this new feature is only for the Model Y and it's updates to the airbag system. Based on recent fleet data analysis, we enhanced your vehicle's restraint and airbag system ability to detect and respond to an even wider range of real world side impact collisions. This enhancement builds up prior superior collision protection based on regulatory and industry crash test ratings to offer the most cutting edge safety improvements available today. So this is incredible guys. Through a software update, your entire airbag system in your vehicle has been even better. Well, that's one of the biggest advantages to getting a Tesla. Now, cold weather improvements. Additional enhancements have been made to improve your vehicle experience in cold weather. The windshield wiper wash sequence automatically adjusts to your vehicle's speed to better clear salt and grime. Improved temperature consistency throughout the cabin offers more comfort in cold weather. And for the Model S 2021, you can also warm your cabin faster, including automatic seat heating via the Tesla app. Now going on to the next feature, which is the second biggest of this software update, and that's an update to the bioweapon defense mode. This is only available for the S, X, and Y. The Model 3 is quite small to have a HEPA filter, so that's why it's only in the Model S, X, and Y. But anyways, you can now purge the vehicle of unhealthy particulates before entering your vehicle by turning on bioweapon defense mode from your mobile app. Yes guys, you can turn on bioweapon defense mode from the app. But the biggest feature of this new software update has to do with the yoke steering wheel in the new Model S. So your turn signals will now automatically turn off when the vehicle detects a merge, fork, or lane change maneuver has been completed. If an upcoming navigation event is detected in the direction of the turn signal, or if the vehicle detects a subsequent lane change, the turn signal will not turn off until the maneuver is complete. Turn signals will always latch when pressed. Additionally, you can now press and hold to latch high beam and to activate the windshield washer. Note, turn signals will cancel based upon steering angle regardless of the selected setting for an automatic turn signals. So, this is incredible guys. This should fix the problems that many people have with the yoke steering wheel buttons. More like haptic buttons. But anyways, that's the new software update and that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Thanks everybody for watching this episode. Smash the like and subscribe button. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any new posts. Send a comment down below and catch you guys in the next episode.